More than 11,000 scientists signed a petition calling for population control as a means of combating climate change. That's this week's Speak Out segment. In an article published Tuesday in the journal Bioscience, the scientists wrote that planet Earth is, quote, facing a climate emergency. They argued that population control was a necessary response to this emergency, writing, quote, the world population must be stabilized and ideally gradually reduced. This ideology is dangerous because it suggests that reducing the human population is the best solution to our problems. Why do you believe what you believe? Because at some point in your life, you trusted the information that somebody was giving you and that someone you trusted told you that a car was a car, a tree was a tree, a bird was a bird, the blue stuff above you is the sky. And that's the way that we began to determine what we believe to be a fact. Most of the things that we believe to be a fact in our lives are told to us through our stories or the news that we hear. So my question would be, if they were deceiving you with the stories they tell you, would you be able to recognize that? All right, so look, here's the deal. They have been desensitizing us since we were born. And I'll give you some examples. Let's start with the big one. Let's start with words we hear all the time and never even think about. Let's start with the word entertainment. To entertain, what does that mean? To bind or hold, to bind or hold what? An audience's attention. Okay, now let's take the word Hollywood. Where does that come from? Well, Hollywood comes from the holly tree. And the ancient Druids back in the day used to take the holly tree, make wands to weave spells, cast spells, or channel spells. And when they needed help, they would consult the magis or the mediums of the day to help channel their spells to the population. We'll cut to today. What do we have in our houses? We have these black boxes. What are they called? TVs. But if you stop and you say the word, tell a vision, television. And when you turn on that television, what do you get? What's the first thing that pops up? A list of channels. And when you turn on those channels, what's on those channels? Programming. They are programming you. They've been programming your whole life. You don't even know it. They do it with your music. They do it with your TV. They do it with your movies. They do it with your games. They have been programming us and programming you since you were little and you don't even know it because you don't even question it. The dangerous you know, edges here are that he's trying to undermine the media, trying to make up his own facts, and it could be that while unemployment and uh, the, the economy worsens, he could have undermined the messaging so much that he can actually control right. uh, exactly what people think. And that is, the, that is if, our job. Yeah, that is if our job. We as this population like to hear people confirm our confirmation biases. We like to hear people tell us that we're right. We don't like to be wrong. And we believe that the people on the media and the people that we're listening to have our best interests in mind. The problem is, is what if they don't? So if you stop and think about it, they can place any agenda on the population that they choose.